Hello, I'm Kirk Hansen, Executive Director of the Markala Center for Applied Ethics at Santa Clara University. And I'm here today with AC Mike Markala, who 30 years ago founded the Markala Center for Applied Ethics uh, to address ethical issues in Silicon Valley. And we're going to have a conversation about ethics in Silicon Valley 30 years ago and today. You started the Ethics Center 30 years ago. Were there ethical problems in the Valley 30 years ago, and are there still ethical problems today? Well, that was back when giants walked the earth. <laughs> and and uh, I had heard a speech given by a fellow from Loyola University in Chicago, and he claimed that we had, in this country, uh, raised two generations of ethical agnostics. Mm -hmm. And that really sent a message to me. It, was, it rung a bell in my head. And uh, I, I, I think there was an issue in Silicon Valley that people were just so darn busy. They weren't unethical. It's just that ethics wasn't on their radar screen mm -hmm. as part of their everyday decision-making process. And uh, my wife and I said, well, if we don't do it, who's going to do it? And when will it get done? What I'm finding today in this very highly partisan environment is that it really helps you to be nonpartisan because you've got a, a criteria, a set of criteria to look at a complex question and discuss what the right thing to do in the particular um, uh, situation is. And, and you don't fall back on sort of a identity or ideological politics. Well, I think discussing things from an ethical point of view gives you common ground uh, mm -hmm. across political lines. Mm -hmm. I, I really think it can be helpful in, in getting the right number of bus lines and mm -hmm. doing the right thing with BART and doing the right thing with uh, mm -hmm. planning for uh, population increases and potholes on the freeways. It's, uh, uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a Republican, Democrat, or Libertarian or mm -hmm. what, if you talk about the ethical um, characteristics that you should be considering when you make those decisions. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about another difficult ethical question that Silicon Valley faces, which is the whole future of artificial intelligence. The, the kind of capability you helped launch with the founding of Apple uh, has now advanced to the point where we're really looking at machines being able to do more and more things for us and you've got questions around the ethics of supplanting so much labor, so many jobs. You've got the ethics of what those AI systems can actually do and whether it's good for us or bad for us. How does an issue like that get explored from an ethical uh, framework or an ethical uh, point of view? I think it takes uh, someone who's had some training with dealing with ethical issues mm -hmm. because this one is so complicated and so important. And uh, I can remember the first time I found an Apple II being used to plot the ballistic path of missile systems. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought, I didn't really know <laughs> that the Apple II would get used for mm -hmm. something that's going to be killing people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And should Apple be uh, in, the, in the business of trying to tell people what they should and shouldn't do with their little computer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we decided that this was a general purpose machine right. that could be used for anything. AI, in some ways, is the same sort of thing, that's, using that's big I'm data. Headed. That's where I'm headed, is, yeah. is AI uh, can be used to do some things we d wouldn't really like to have, contrary to that. AI can do some things that are marvelous, wonderful. Uh, we really want those things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so uh, it's, uh, I think it's always better to go for, move forward and then if there are issues, have a, have a mm -hmm. set of tools that we can use to deal with them. The first thing is the openness to ask those questions. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and I think you're right, I think the progress has been an open, that there is an openness today in Silicon Valley to really address some of these ethical questions. Oh, I, I agree, I agree. I don't, I don't see any pushback. And, and then if we have the method, we'll, we'll learn some things 
about what to do. And, but we've got to get out there. We've got to, we've got to think through the problems. We've got to write about them. We've got to speak about them. Uh, and we've got to offer our expertise in trying to address those questions. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mike, thank you for being willing to sit down and talk about the ethics of Silicon Valley then, 30 years ago, and now in 2017. And thank you for your huge contribution to the Valley in creating an institution like this that can raise so many of the important questions around the ethics of Silicon Valley. My pleasure.